Hi everyone, this is Angela here and tonight I'm going with part two of my story of the narcissist ghost from <laughs> years gone past. Okay, so I, in my last video I left off with, I gotta go, time for work, I'm telling him and he says okay. So then about two weeks later, out of the blue, he messaged me and he says, Hi, good afternoon, beautiful lady, and hope you have a great day today. And I didn't respond, okay? I just was like, I'm just not in the mood, you know, I'm not interested, so I just didn't respond. So then, uh, about two weeks after that, he says, Hey, how are you? Um, and I didn't respond. And then he says, he sends another message and he says, hope all is great with you and miss you. And he sends this, like, picture. It's called a Giphy, GIF, you know. And it's two people embracing each other passionately. And I'm thinking, oh, you know. So then I finally responded later that day. And I just said, hi, Tommy, I'm fine. Hope that all is well with you. I'm just a very busy woman. And then he didn't respond to that. Like, I'm trying to tell this person, I'm busy. I don't have time. Please leave me alone. So he sends me. So then I didn't hear from him until the end of November. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, la, la, la. So I said, so then I kept it light and I said happy Thanksgiving are you having dinner with your family and he said no working and I said oh okay I'm off I'm going out to eat with my sister and then he says nice that's great enjoy get stuffed um, so We got into this, this argument because I really got tired of the nonsense, you know, with the love bombing. So I sent him this text because I was just like, I just want this to end. And I said to him, I've given up on you. There's no point to think that we will be anything more than friends. So don't waste your time on me. I will never make plans with you again. You really are a joke. Nobody ghosts me the way you did and gets a second chance. It's just the way I roll. I have no interest, okay? And to this day, he never explained why he ghosted me. He just was like, so he, told, he totally tips his hand to what I just said. And he says, hey, beautiful lady, wanna go out tonight? And I said, no. And then he said, sorry you feel that way. Hope I can explain. Just give me a chance. And I said, I'm not home. I'm out. So the answer is, sorry, but no thank you. And then he's like, wonderful. Thanks for giving me a chance to explain why. I said, you can explain. Go for it. No, in person, not going to top on, not going to type on all night. See, he's trying to he's trying to switch the narrative to get me to go out with him so that he can explain about what happened. What's to explain? This happened six months ago. Get over it. So then I said, I'm not gonna drop everything, you know, like I'm like he expected me to just drop everything and just go be with him. And I said, Well, I'm not available. I have my grandson, you know, which I did. I was out and I was Doing family stuff. It's like the holidays. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, enjoy your time. And then he said, you're never fair. Don't hate me. I'm never fair. Okay. Thanks for giving me a chance to explain why, at least in person. How your rules, your way, not fair. So, I, so then I said, will you stop? Just stop. I'm over it. The reason does not matter. 
I've moved on, so forget it. I'm simply not interested in being anything other than friends with you. You're too unreliable, and I can't be bothered. I am not emotionally invested, and I'm not angry. I just don't care. And that's the end of this nonsense. And then he says, call me. You want to be... I don't know what that... He, it was a typo. I don't understand what he's saying. And then he says, okay, talk. I said, I'm going to bed. I want to relax. I am just not in the mood to talk. It's done and over with. So let it go. I have let it go. And then he says, great, wonderful, so sad. You don't give me a chance to explain why. Sorry for you. And I said, the reason is irrelevant and it does not matter. Great, thanks for giving me a chance to explain. We'll walk away over and out. Thanks for giving up on me and we'll be here for you. What? Okay. I said, okay, good luck in your life. Bye. And then he said, then he, then he said, you, and he used the C word. Yeah. He said, you will never know. Go mm, yourself. Okay. He's saying to me. I said, so then I said to him, I don't want to know. Stop using profanity. It's unbecoming and I don't care. We did not date. I'm not emotionally invested in you, so it does not matter. And then he says, what makes you think you are so right? I'm like, what is this word salad? Okay. What is this word salad? Like, he's talking about something that makes no sense. What? So he says, what makes you think you are so right? So that makes you, you would not allow it. You're so correct. Thank you, beautiful lady. What? It's like, in, in the one, on the one breath, he's calling me the C word. And then the, on the other breath, he's calling me a beautiful lady. I'm like, oh, my God. So, so I'm like, what the hell? What the WTF is wrong with you? Are you drunk? And then he said, you wanted this. I want what is best for my life, for the both of us. We are not a good match, and I do not appreciate being called vulgar names. It makes me realize that my decision to not get involved with you is the right one. He said, I want capital letters, you, okay, Y-O-U, and love you, beautiful lady. Really? <laughs> Please. So I sent him, I sent him like a little... um sticky of Snoopy saying good grief and then he says please want you and only you and I said absolutely no and he said thanks I said you're not getting your way so please let it go so then I hear my telephone my phone ring and I was like you know what I'm not dealing with this it's late I want to go to bed click turn my phone off next morning turn my phone on and he called me one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And he was so pissed. He's like, thanks. Great. Tried calling you. Why not? Thanks for giving a word. Was waiting. You're not nice. I said, and I said to him, am I not nice? Really? Well, guess what? Now you know what it feels like to be ghosted with no explanation for months. Nobody does that to me and gets another chance. When I say that I am done, I am done. Now you need to let this go and move on. I also didn't appreciate you calling me a... Mm -mm -mm. Do you think that by doing so is going to bring me closer to you? Really? Hardly. You're crazy and I'm done. Lastly, I forgot. I could think of a few a few words to describe you, but gentlemen is not one of them. How dare you speak to me with such vulgar? Do you not have any manner, any class or manners? Or do your emotions co control what comes out of your mouth? So I was so pissed off at that point, I just blocked them. Now, I'm sharing my story because I want to show everybody, okay? Do you see the love bombing in this? This man has absolutely nothing to offer in a relationship with any woman, okay? His life is not together. It's a shambles. Um, he's unreliable, okay? Um, he's, you know, he's 
trying to love Bami because he wants stability in his life because he has none in his life, okay? I'm not going to, uh, he doesn't have this quality and standards that I look for in a man, you know, when it comes to dating, okay? My life is together, okay? I have not a job, I have a career. I'm a career woman, okay? I make more money than a lot of men out here. Not putting any of you guys down. It's like work is work, okay? And I'm very blessed that I'm fortunate enough to be a professional. But sometimes it's like the more that you have, the more attributes you have, whether they be materialistic or otherwise, you're going to find predators that are going to try to come in and leech off of you. And that, and it goes for both men and women. Yeah, for real. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Because I'm not needy, okay? You know, I'm not needy. I have a fabulous life. I really do. And I'm happy, really happy. And, um, you know, I took some time off because my, my work schedule was just insane. And there was a lot of drama going on, which I don't want to talk about anymore because I've moved on. And I don't care, okay, about the past drama that was going on in this channel. I don't care, okay. If you people don't like me or don't, you know, or have an opinion of me that's negative, you're entitled to your opinion. And I'm entitled not to care because I don't need YouTube to make a living. Okay, I do this because this is my personal space. It's my personal blog um, about narcissism and my experiences with narcissists to be a support to the community. I don't even ask for donations. You know, um, I have nothing, you know, to gain out of all this. And it's like, I, you know, people online are just people online. They're not in your real life. They don't know you. Okay. They don't. But my real friends who do know me love me very much. I have some really, really good good people that I've met off of YouTube in person. Okay, in person and people I talk offline to. But I've learned a lesson to be very selective about who I choose to be my friends online. And I hope that you guys uh, make your choices wisely because hmm, there's a lot of craziness out here. With that, I'm going to stop this video, and any comments or suggestions or questions, you can uh, leave them down in the comment section. I am going to try to continue on with videos, but I don't know if I can make... I, I, it depends on my schedule. It's like it's total insanity at the office, and... Not only that, I'm very involved with uh, my my Italian language learning and participate participating in the Italian meetups. I think it's really cool to learn a new language. Um, plus, my grandkids, my granddaughter was just baptized today, and my grandson is uh, doing well and uh, we took a little break from skating but um, you know we're going to do that again so so I'm adding a little channel update with uh, this video so alright I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to end this video I just want to say I wish you all the very best that life has to offer and take care <laughs>